All right, so we're continuing in Matthew chapter 17, and we'll start in verse 4. And this is just some really good stuff in, in this, this passage of Scripture. It says, Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, let's make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And man, aren't we all like that? Whenever we have this amazing spiritual experience and we're just, you know, so restful and excited and, and our feelings match our faith. And of course, they could see things. They didn't have to really walk by faith right now because they could see Jesus in his glory. They could see uh, Moses and Elijah. They wanted to stay. Peter wanted to stay in that situation. And that's how it can be for us. We, we many times experience God in a very tangible way. And we just want to stay in that because it's easy. But that's not how life is supposed to be. And there's no credit to you. You know, God is so pleased by our faith. Uh, he's, he's pleased when we go through hard times and we, we things don't feel right, but we trust his word. We trust him. You know, things don't go the way we want them to be going, but we're like, you know what? God works all things together for good for those who love him, for those who are called, in, called according to his purpose. So, so it's very nice when we experience God in a very tangible way and we don't have to fight our feelings to trust God where it's just natural. That's nice. But don't try to live in that way. That is unrealistic. That's not life. There's no reward in that. There's no honor in that of life being easy. So, so you know, it's just as James says, consider it all joy when you encounter various trials and tribulations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Let endurance have its way with you so you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Nothing. So, so enjoy the hard times in life. That's what disciples need to understand, that, that the enjoyable parts in life are not when it's easy, but when it's hard and you still trust God. So may that be you. May you grow in your faith to trust God when it's difficult and it's not what you feel like doing. Verse five, while he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Behold, a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So this is God the father talking about God the son. When the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and they were very afraid. Jesus came and touched them and said, get up, don't be afraid. Lifting up their eyes, they saw no one except Jesus alone. So the experience was over, but man, it's like God the Son is the only one who can comfort us and give us confidence before God the Father. So man, it, it, just imagine this, that you got Peter, James, and John. They heard a voice from heaven, and it, it was scary, right? So it said that they, they fell on their faces and they were very afraid, and Jesus tells them, don't be afraid. Man, I think that's what it's going to be like when we die and we see God face to face. And it's, it, it, can be, it, it will be so, I imagine, overwhelming. There's going to be this tendency to have this, this fear in the power of God. But I think immediately for those of us who have trusted in Jesus, he's going to be like, don't be afraid. And, and we probably, we, I assume we won't even feel the fear. We'll, just, we'll be in the awesome presence of God and we'll know that we're safe in the power and majesty of God because of Jesus. Jesus is our advocate. He is the only mediator between God and man. So here's the, here's the flip side, the really scary side for most people who don't believe, the people that don't believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they have rejected the only mediator between God and man. They will be afraid. They won't have Jesus there to say, don't be afraid. So man, pray for them. Just try to help as many people as possible accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, as much as it depends on you. Um, because I don't want anyone to see God and then have eternal fear. They, they, they'll be, you know, they will experience the judgment of God and not the grace of God. And so we don't want that. We want as many people as possible to have confidence in Jesus.